in investigative process of the Integrity Commission is unfair or biased and shows a lack of even-handedness as they act differently in certain circumstances depending on which person is being investigated. No credibility. And the government has turned off its criticism of the country's main anti-corruption agency, the Integrity Commission. Members of the administration have been upset about the commission's handling of a conflict of interest report involving Prime Minister Andrew Holness in February. And at a parliamentary sitting on Wednesday, Justice Minister Delroy Chuck gave one of the clearest articulations of the government's position on the commission. The Integrity Commission needs to get its act together. It is clearly acting in a manner which has been perceived by the people of Jamaica as not being fair. And the sooner it gets its act together, the better for Jamaica. And if it can't get its act together, it is time for them to take action in the interest of the Jamaican people. Because the people of Jamaica and this parliament, certainly on this side of government, don't have trust and confidence in this report. That whole body needs to be reshaped. I believe this administration, led by Andrew Holness, passed the bills that put them in. I believe that a mistake was made in a number of the powers and the check and balance policy. They have gone so far wrong, nobody believes that they are acting with integrity. And once you have reached that position, they know what they need to do. What they did to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, they should have resigned on block. It's a rogue organization. We're not against them investigating corruption. They must work within the ambit of the act and the law. And as long as I'm a member of the Oversight Committee and the Ruling Committee, I will see to it that these guys follow the law. However, opposition leader Mark Golding has signaled he will not support any move by lawmakers to curtail the powers of the anti-corruption body. I think it's important that individuals be treated with fairly. And where the Integrity Commission transgresses in that regard, I expect them to correct that in an appropriate manner, as they have done with this addendum. To the extent that the member for St. Mary Western feels he has not been treated fairly, I expect him to put the material before the Commission, which would put them in a position to adjudicate that matter, and they can respond accordingly. But it is important that the Integrity Commission see fairness as part of what is their mandate. On the other hand, on the other hand, anything to do with reducing their powers, curtailing the scope of their investigatory mandate, their prosecutorial mandate, will not have my support. I am very much in favor. I am very much in favor of that institution being empowered to do its work. In a statement on another controversy over why cabinet ministers, including Prime Minister Holness, have not signed a code of conduct, the Integrity Commission said it will not be frightened or intimidated to act in any way that it says is contrary to the public interest. We must stop the hypocrisy. We must stop fooling up the people. We must stop the hypocrisy. We must stop fooling up the people. I would say to every member that we should not engage in a political cascas, because that is how it is emerging, between the parliament and a body that reports to the parliament. We should do that. We, Madam Speaker, we, we should avoid that at all costs. It is been done on both sides. And Madam Speaker, I'm saying that going forward, we should avoid that. We should avoid that. Madam Speaker, the two committees that exist, the Review Committee, that is a Joint Select Committee to review the legislation, and the Oversight Committee, should increase the pace of their activities. They should meet more frequently. They should review the law with greater depth to make sure that we have a law that is workable in Jamaica. And if there are issues, Madam Speaker, the Oversight Committee should 
convene and have those issues resolved. It is not good for our country, Madam Speaker, for there to be what is emerging now in the public space. Well, it has emerged. It's not good. And if anyone thinks that they are winning, they are leading to the destruction of institutions. And as Prime Minister, I cannot support the destruction of institutions. We must stop the hypocrisy. We must stop fooling of the people. We must stop the hypocrisy. We must stop fooling of the people. We must stop the hypocrisy. We must stop fooling of the people. On Tuesday, February 14, a report from the Director of Investigation of the Integrity Commission was tabled in Parliament. The investigation concerned contracts awarded to a company called Westcon Construction Limited between 2006 and 2009. The investigation looked at whether Prime Minister Andrew Holness, Member of Parliament for St. Andrew West Central, then Education Minister, had been involved in the award of contracts to the company. This was in relation to recommendations he made regarding Westcon and Robert Garvin, a director of Westcon, known to Mr. Holness for over 20 years and who had been employed both in Mr. Holness's personal business and in his constituency. The report recommended in part that, quote, the matter concerning the potential conflict of interest, which arose in relation to the recommendations made by the Most Honorable Andrew Holness, is being referred to the Director of Corruption Prosecution for consideration with respect to breaches of the Contractor General Act, the Public Sector Procurement Regulations 2008, the Corruption Prevention Act, and or any other applicable law. There was immediate concern. Executive Director of the Jamaica Accountability Meter Portal, JAMP, Jeanette Calder, spoke on this program last week. Well, it's serious on different levels, Dion. Thanks for having me. It's serious because of the uh, potential damage it does on an uh, individual level, the person, the office of the Prime Minister, and certainly the country. We're still reeling from what has happened uh, concerning SSL and what that has done internationally, only to now be presented with a headline such as this. Today. Professor Trevor Monroe of Watchdog Group National Integrity Action called for, quote, vigorous, comprehensive and prompt determination of whether such breaches occurred or not. Opposition leader Mark Golding called for Prime Minister Andrew Holness to step aside. Mr. Holness cannot credibly remain in office as Prime Minister of our country in these circumstances. I am there, there, I am therefore calling on the Prime Minister to do the right thing for Jamaica. He must now, at a minimum, take away himself on a leave of absence until this matter is finally resolved. Then, on Thursday, Two days after the report had been tabled in Parliament came a ruling from the Integrity Commission's Director of Corruption Prosecution that, quote, no criminal charges be laid against Mr. Holness as there was, quote, no evidence of the alleged interference with the procurement process.
We must stop the hypocrisy. We must stop fooling up the people. We must stop the hypocrisy. We must stop fooling up the people.